Tonight in cities all across the country, a stunning show of security. Armed law enforcement officials are surrounding state capitals, bracing for potentially dangerous demonstrations. Sunday night, I'm Walter Perez, Sarah's off. The big story in Action News tonight is the security measures in place ahead of Joe Biden's inauguration. Suffice it to say, federal officials are not taking any chances. Military reinforcements arrived in D.C. this weekend by the plane load, and now newly released video from the Capitol riots show just how violent things got. ABC's Rena Roy has more from New York. 25,000 National Guard members descending upon the nation's capital. Troops scouring the streets for any sign of a threat. The big concern, domestic extremism. How serious is our country going to take domestic white extremism? Um, and I think what we saw here last week is that uh, we didn't take it seriously enough. Authorities establishing a large security perimeter called the Green Zone, where roads are shut down. In D.C., at least three people arrested in separate incidents, including two men carrying guns and ammunition. At least 10 states activating the National Guard. This mission is about protecting our republic itself. And now disturbing newly released video shot by the New Yorker's Luke Mogelson during the Capitol Hill siege shows the horrifying violence. Rioters brawling with police on a manhunt for lawmakers. Where the f are they? Where the f is Nancy? Forcing their way into the Capitol go, go. and eventually into the Senate chamber. Where Jacob Angeli in the Viking hat makes himself comfortable in the vice president's chair as an officer begs them to leave. Okay, just want to let you guys know this is like the <laughs> sacredest place. Uh -huh. I know, hey, no, I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. This is the chair because my pants is a chair. Finally, escorted out, Angeli leaves a note. It's only a matter of time. Justice is coming. He was arrested along with dozens of others. The Department of Justice opening at least 300 investigations into suspects from that day. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.